Monster Law. Yan ang tawag ng mga kritik sa bagong anti-terror law na nakalusot na ngayon sa Senado. Para sa mga nakasusubaybay, meron na tayong existing Human Security Act of 2007, but Senate Bill 1083 seeks to add teeth, sabi nga nila, doon okay. sa batas na ito by amending certain provisions para daw mas maging effective siya. So, 19-2, no? Yung hmm. vote breakdown nakita natin. Senators uh, Hontiveros and Pangilinan lang ang nag-oppose uh, dito, no? Hmm. Uh, habang it seems the vast majority, including perhaps some members of the opposition and minority, went along with it. So, ngayon, dagdag pang pwersang bibigay uh, dito sa gobyerno and armed forces of the Philippines and police, uh, including the ability to put people for an extens extensive period, no? More than two weeks, hmm. if possible, no? Uh, without any warrant. If my Puti suspicion bars, no? is suspicion na you're story. involved in an act of terrorism. Ngayon, what is their definition of terrorism dito? It talks about causing death or serious bodily injuries to any persons, causing extensive damage or destruction to a government, causing extensive interference, developing, manufacturing, possessing, acquiring, transporting, supplying, or using weapons. Now, in a way, in fairness, it's, it's, it's detailed, no? Mm -hmm. But the thing is, it's still broad enough that it could be abused if there are no necessary safeguards. By the way, ito ay napasa uh, sa Senado. Uh, Senator Laxon, who uh, sponsored this, is saying there are necessary uh, you know, measures to ensure na walang abuso mangyara. We have to see ano mga counterpart bill from the Congress. But the ironic thing, Atom, here is this. Tinanggal natin yung martial law sa Mindanao because one of the concerns with the martial law was that while it gave more leeway uh, to armed forces of the Philippines and police forces to go after suspected terrorists, that would have create uh, it would have created room for more human rights abuse mm -hmm. continues at all. But this bill, in a way, could achieve exactly the leeway that martial law would okay. have provided. So it could be a martial law without the declaration right. of martial law. Give us kumbaga, the worst case scenario. Ano yung sinasabi ng mga critics? Ano yung pwede mangyari kung sakaling? Well, on one hand, Atom, no? to be fair, kailangan talaga natin sa loob na kahit isang demokrasya, mm -hmm. no? magkakaroon ng balance sa pagitan ng basic civil liberties and freedoms and national security. Okay. And one of the things that we learned from the Marawi siege and the advent of suicide bombing and entry of ISIS dito sa Pilipinas is that the existing legal and national security infrastructure was not sufficient to deal with it. Ang concern dito, Atom, is that this kind of bill may be quite detailed in terms of what constitutes terrorism but broad enough to potentially be used not only against ISIS or some insurgent groups, but even opponents of the administration who may not necessarily be terrorists, but are definitely critics of the administration and opposing the government.